Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over which key fobs are compatible with your IQ2 Plus panel. So, first thing you need to understand about the IQ2 Plus is that every single IQ2 Plus comes with a PowerG daughter board card. PowerG daughter board card is a different um, receiver that's added to the panel. It's a 9, 915 megahertz frequency, so it, co it communicates back and forth with all PowerG sensors. Now, PowerG sensors are known to have a huge range, a lot, um, it's supposed to have a bigger range than Honeywell, DSC, 2GIG, Interlogix, Qolsys S-Line, all those kind of sensors. The PowerG daughter board cards, when you use them with the correct panel, they're said to go up to two kilometers open air, right? So that's point of view. That's not going through construction, through walls, stuff like that. So obviously the signal does get decreased, but the PowerG daughter board card range, the rating is up that high, all right? Um, so all IQ2 Plus panels, since they have a PowerG daughter board card, you can technically use any of the PowerG key fobs that are available, that are obviously key fobs are wireless, so it would need to be a wireless PowerG key fob. If you have an IQ2 Plus, those will all work with the IQ2 Plus. Um, now, the other thing you guys need to understand is there's three versions of the IQ2 Plus. Each version has a different legacy receiver. So for instance, one has a Honeywell and two gig receiver, which is 345 megahertz. Uh, another IQ2 panel has Interlogix and S-Line Qolsys receiver, which is 319.5 megahertz. And then there's another IQ2 panel plus that has a DSC receiver. So this is for DSC wireless sensors, and that has a 433 megahertz uh, receiver. So basically, um, depending on which one you have, is gonna dictate which key fobs you can use. So for instance, if I have the Honeywell and two gig, you can use any of the 5800 series key fobs or any of the two gig series key fobs. And, um, and then obviously PowerG as well. If I have the DSC one, I can use DSC key fobs and PowerG key fobs. And then the last but not least, the Interlogix and the um, Interlogix and Qolsys panel. You can use those Interlogix and Qolsys key fobs, and you can use PowerG key fobs. Um, now, I don't have any of the key fobs with me right now, but if you go to our FAQ, we actually have a huge list of all the different kind of key fobs that you can use. So if you guys do have any questions at all whatsoever, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. So to figure out which IQ2 panel you guys actually have, you can actually look at the sighting uh, the little trim on the box that the IQ2 Plus panel came in, if it has a gold trim, that is the Qolsys and S-Line uh, IQ2 panel plus. If it has a silver trim, that is the Honeywell and 2GIG IQ2 plus. And then if it has a red trim, that is the DSC IQ2 plus. Another easy way of knowing uh, which which uh, IQ2 Plus panel you have, you can always go into the settings of your IQ2 Plus, go into the um, go into the source and see what sources you have. You should see it come up as 319 or as Power G. Um, so, for instance, if I go to my panel right here, I'll hit the top button. I'll go to settings. I'm going to go to advanced settings. Enter in my installer or dealer code. Mine is defaulted at 1111 or 2222. I go to installation, devices, security sensors. I go to add a sensor. And then under source, you can actually look at that and you'll see here that I have a 319. So this is gonna be the uh, Qolsys and the Interlogix IQ2 plan that I have. If you have a Honeywell one, it'll say 345. Or if two gig, Honeywell or two gig, it'll say 345. If you have DSC, it'll say 433, all right? So that is just a quick way to kind of show you guys and how to figure out which key fobs you can use for your IQ2 Plus. If you guys have any more questions about compatibility, you guys can always email us to support at alarmgrid.com. If you uh, found this video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new videos, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.